Yo, what's up? It's Cruz. We'll break it down. Dream Chasers Records. Um, today, we're going to go through the Dream Chasers Pro Tools template that I have available on the site. Just giving you guys an idea of what's available um, and walking you through the setup of the template. This is exactly what we use in the studio when I'm recording Meek. And um, it's available at breakitdwn.com. So what you're going to notice when you open up the zip file, you're going to see a few things. You'll see for those people that don't have the latest version of Pro Tools, um, which is would be 10 and up, um, I have available um, 7 through 9. The actual file type is PTF if you have an older version of Pro Tools. Um, so 7 through 9 will be PTF file, um, session file, and then the newer versions is um, PTXT. So depending on which um, version of Pro Tools you're using, that's what you'll select. So I'm gonna go through, I actually personally still use Pro Tools 10, so I'm gonna go through um, some examples on Pro Tools 10 setup. So basically when you first open it up, you'll notice I have everything pretty much laid out for you. So um, when you drop your two track instrumental, it'll tell you exactly what to do. Um, you know, I have a trim plugin on the, on that channel and what that does is for people that ask me how you fit your vocals in when you're recording um, and get them in pocket with the beat this is what I use personally there's always a million ways to do things but basically what trim does is to um, turn the beat down and you can play it by ear um, some beats are louder than others some beats are maybe too quiet you might have to turn them up it's depending on um, the level you bring in your vocal and what fits with um, your recording style. So the first thing I'll go over when you do drop your instrumental in, right now I have, as an example, um, from Papamutri, we have this track called Cena. The first thing you wanna do is make sure you capture your tempo because you wanna be on beat for when you fly your hooks, which I'll go over later. Um, just make sure you're on grid so that it just makes it way easier in the recording process and it's the first thing that you need to do get your delays on point i could tell you how to um, sync up your verb to fit your your bpm so it's crucial that you that you do that first some tools that i use to make it faster to um, speed along the process is um i'll use bpm analyzers um mixmeister is the best one it's a free analyzer just go to um Google and just type in Mixmeister. It's free um, and it's helped me a lot and it helps you speed along the process. There's other ways to do it. You could just um, go here in Pro Tools to your top right and select the AZ logo and that's going to give you your shortcut keys um, on, the, on the keyboard and you can just tap T, open up here double click the red triangle, open up tempo change. And as you tap T, you notice the BPM start changing. This is the old school way. It's gonna take you too long. So I would recommend using the analyzer. Another thing you can do is catch the beat at the first drum. So like for example, right? And just count old school, just count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, until you get four bar loop, capture that loop, and then you'll do command I, and then under location, hit one, and then end location, hit five. And it should give you the same tempo. So once you got your tempo locked in, you're pretty much ready to go. You're ready to catch vocals, and you'll notice all your delays will be synced up. Um, we've got H delay, long delay, your reverb. So what you want to do with your reverb so that um, you have it locked in with the tempo. What I use is this thing called, um, just Google Nick Fever and find the delay calculator. All right, so once this comes up, you'll type in your BPMs here. So this one is 90, so you type in 90 calculate reverb and delay times and then it'll give you a list just depending on you know the notes that you want to use varies so you could do um, usually I stick to about like um, 132 or 164th um, so this one 164th is 41.67 so you go back to your reverb you're gonna double tap your pre-delay 
and 41.6, it'll round it up for you. And then the time just depends on if you want it to be um, heavy on the reverb or just a little a classic vocal plate will be like 2.5 or below. Um, something like that. I usually keep it around like 3.5. And then, you know, what I basically did with this template is, again, this is exactly what we use in the studio, but feel free to experiment. So, you know, once you, once you cue it up and you start recording, it might not fit whoever it is you're recording, or if you're recording yourself, you might notice it might not have a certain tone that you're expecting, depending on a number of things, your microphone, the compressor that you're using, the preamp, so just make some adjustments and you know that's the beauty of engineering there's a million ways to do it All right, thanks for tuning in um this is the first tutorial of many just wanted to give you all a breakdown of the template the dream chasers pro tools template that's available on the break it down website if any other questions or anything else i might have missed i just did a quick run through for you just drop us a line at support at breakitdwn.com and we'll take your suggestions into consideration for future tutorials and so again, it's available break at DWN.com, Pro Tools template. This is what real deal. This is what we use in the studio every day. Hope you enjoy it. All right, peace.